YouTube, it's me, Nezarak, and we're back with another Nez's RE video. Today we were talking about the, because it's kind of low there, talking about the LA shooting of an unarmed mentally ill man. First off and foremost, fuck this guy, okay, let me say that, alright, this dude is supposedly, uh, if you watch TYT, I'm subscribed to the Young Turks, because I love most of their shit, half their shit I don't like because they're so far left, okay? Um, I'm a liberal, I'm a progressive, but they just take everything too far, okay? Mainly, I forget her name, Anna, I think it's Anna? She's a girl, the pretty girl in there. Um, but uh, that was so sexist, right? Who cares? Uh, watch my video on sexism. <laughs> the, the pretty girl, Anna, uh, she always goes completely left whenever she sees something that she doesn't like, okay? Which is the reason why I don't find myself agreeing with TYT all the time, but I agree with them often, okay? Um, now, let's talk about the, the shooting in LA, okay? Unarmed, mentally ill dude. They, they make it sound like this dude's so helpless and pathetic and this, that, and the other, and that may have been the situation that night, okay? But this motherfucker's driving a fucking C5 Corvette. Uh, how many mentally ill people do you know that can go out and buy a Corvette? I don't know any. I don't know. I don't know anybody who owns a Corvette right now, and I have a lot of friends. Okay, I don't know anybody who owns a Corvette. Okay, uh, not a ZR1, not a C6, not a C5, not a C4. Okay, I, I don't know anybody who owns a Corvette. Uh, not because they're ridiculously expensive. Okay, I do know somebody who owns a Corvette, but he's fifty something and been working all of his life. But anyway, I mean, this this dude obviously isn't that. <laughs> Uh, distraught and that mentally disabled to where he can't take care of himself is what I'm getting at with the Corvette statement okay uh, if you're driving a fucking Corvette you're doing a hell of a lot better than most of the people out there that bust ass all the time bottom line okay so I mean I, I want to take the power of this mentally ill part part away but later on in this video you guys are gonna see me give it right back okay so I mean the dudes running from the cops eventually he t-bones what looked like a Honda Civic to me like a 2000 something Honda Civic or a similar year Ford Focus. They have similar body shapes. I think it was a Civic though. But he T-bones his car. I could have sworn I saw somebody's body get tossed out one of the windows when it flipped upside down, it looked like. But he T-boned that car, completely took it out, okay? Uh, and then he spins out and wrecks on the curb and then he tries to take off and, you know, the cops are behind him while he's doing this. You know, he's putting it in reverse, putting it back in drive. The car's billowing steam and smoke, and he's, he, you can see the tires moving. He's still trying to go, but the front end is fucked in that Corvette, okay? So, I mean, he gets out the car, and this is where the power of the mental illness comes right back, okay? He gets out the car, and it is painfully obvious this guy's not all there. Just by his demeanor, the way he's carrying himself, his, 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 his arms swinging, it's like, like the dude was not there, okay? And I can't, even say, I can't even articulate that. And if you guys are subscribed to my channel, you know that I find a way to articulate things. This guy was definitely off, okay? Very eccentric, all right? This dude was not mentally, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sufficient. He, 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 he was incompetent, is what, is what I saw. He was capable of driving a car. But as far as logic, he, he was gone, okay? Now... Another thing to back up that statement, because, I mean, anybody can just take, you know, oh, he looked like he was special, you know, and, and use that to, to, you know, demonize the police. But he got out the car and he wanted to run away. It was obvious because it was fast. He got out the car, he got up, briskly started walking behind the vehicle. <clears throat> anybody with any sense knows that if the cops are back there, you don't want to go back there. You want to go that way. You want to go whichever way the cops are, you don't take a step that way, okay? Unless the door is stopping you. You go that way, which is uh, kind of solidifying the whole mentally ill argument. This dude obviously was not all there, all right? So anyway, he gets out, goes on the sidewalk, and gets ready to start bolting. And that's when it happens, you know? Like, when he gets all the way around the vehicle, you know, he has daylight in front of him, nothing in front of him, and then the first shots are fired. You didn't hear him, but you could definitely see it in his body language. Ugh. You know, if you've ever seen somebody be shot, been shot, who's been shot on camera before, uh, you, you know, it's a, ah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a reaction. So that's when they shot him. And uh, that's where I disagree with the officers. And nine times out of 10, 19 out of 20 times, I'm agreeing with the officers because you can hear the officers giving verbal commands, which I'm sure they were, 
you know, you can hear the officers, you know, doing everything they can to get this person, uh, the, the Kelly Thomas tape. You know, you hear Kelly Thomas, okay, okay, okay. But if you look at Kelly Thomas, he's not fucking doing what he's told. He's on his freaking back pushing away when the cops told him, roll over in your belly 30,000 times, you know? So, I mean, I had no sympathy for Kelly Thomas, but this dude, I don't forget his name, this dude fucking, yeah, he, he, he was not all there. Um, and the cops opened fire on him. The officers opened fire on him. Um, and I disagree with that for the simple fact that I don't think the officers needed to open fire on him when he was going to try to escape. This is California. This isn't Texas. This isn't New Mexico. This is California. Um, you're not supposed to just open fire on people like that. In California, I could walk around with a gun in my hand and me in a standoff with police officers, and they're not able to shoot me until I point the gun at them. Okay? Uh, in Afghanistan, it's kind of the same thing, you know? Like, I'm not going to try to compare, you know, California to Afghanistan, but it's, that's how the rules apply there, and it's to keep people who aren't shooting at you from getting shot, okay? <clears throat> but they shot this guy, and I disagree with the holy just because of the fact that uh, it has the air, check my time, it has the air of, uh, I'm tired of this guy's shit. He just wrecked a car, he just took out a fire hydrant, some dude got tossed from the car, there are probably children in the car, whatever, whatever reason it is, um, they were tired of him. Somebody in that group of officers was tired of his shit. It's the easiest way to say it, okay? And open fire, okay? And I'm not the one to, to just jump on, the, on the, the, the bad guy's side and say the cops are abusing their power. Trust me, okay? Watch, look at my comments, okay? Uh, I'm not. But in this case, I don't think the cops are right. So anyway, if you agree, if you disagree, whatever, Feel free to like and subscribe, because I think this is kind of a fucked up situation. I can't really say that the officers should be punished for it, but there should be an investigation. That's how I feel. If there was an officer who just decided, fuck it, I'm going to open fire on this guy, uh, he doesn't need to be on the force anymore. Because he's a liability, he's making law enforcement look bad, and California, California look bad, okay? So, feel free to like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Deuces.